Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's Face Shave. We're on about three days' worth of growth, and I am very much looking forward to this. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. We actually got two of them today. National Patriots Day, the more important of the two. Celebrate National Patriots Day by celebrating National Cheese Fries Day. That's right. Cheese fries are awesome. They're really nasty when they're cold. Don't even tar try and just throw them out. But if you get them while they're hot, celebrate uh, Patriots Day by eating cheese fries today. So that's the holiday of the day. But I know you guys aren't here for the holiday of the day. You're really here for the shave and the product. So here we go. Today what we're profiling is Through the Fire Fine Craft Fern. This is a spring scent. I think it's really, really good, especially for the time of year. And uh, this has scent notes of uh, fern and tobacco. Before we get too much into that, let's get into the rest of the gear. We're going to go with uh, Boker, Straight Razor, Square Point, Full Hollow on that one. Grizzly Bay, Synthetic Knot. I'm a big fan of Synthetic Knots. And uh, this is a really nice handle. I like the contours on the inside. It's easy grip, especially when you get the slick fingers going on. And I decided to go with Mal Grooming, a Talbot Shaving, Aftershave, uh, Chittahooga Creek, as I kind of said. This is a very outside scent. And I thought it kind of went with this whole theme. I don't have the matching Aftershave to Fern, but that's okay because that just goes to show you Check out what's in your shave den because you can mix stuff and it does work quite well. So we've got all our stuff out here. Uh, as far as the um, the scent strength is concerned and everything else on this, I think we're going to go with that in a second. But in the meantime, take a look at this. The fern, a flowerless plant that reproduces with spores and has a massive complex vascular system to spread its internal water and nutrient supply. Known for its amazing air purifying properties and its ease of care, the fern is known as one of the most health conscious plants to have in the home. Found from dry desert rock formations to remote mountain elevations, they are a species of plant that just about anyone is familiar with. Walking through a bed of clustered fern growth yields a distinctive vegetative smell. Maria captured this earthy scent and paired it with a bit of tobacco. The handshaking of these two aromas was intended to create an earthy profile with a nice, refined, masculine undertone. A way to combine shaving with the serenity of the outdoors. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Let's throw a little water in our face. Cracked soap open. There it is, right there. Almost has a little bit of a green tinge to it, doesn't it? Anyway. Put this aside. As far as the scent strength is concerned on this soap, I definitely give it anywhere between a 7 and an 8. It's pretty strong, and it's it's total fern. I get a little bit of tobacco on it towards the end. It kind of grounds it out a little bit, but it gives it a nice outside earthy scent to it, which is a really nice separate um, kind of a step off of, of what you usually get from Through the Fire, which I like. Just definitely nice spring scent. Reminds you of being outside. Really, really decent. So we're, again, throwing a little bit of more water in the face. Soften up that beard. And take the uh, brush here. And set things aside. We're going to go right into the lather while we talk about this. All right, so Through the Fire Fine Crafts has been around for a while. If you folks have uh, seen any of my videos lately, uh, you'll, you'll, anybody can tell you that I'm a big fan of Through the Fire. Uh, they they perform excellent, in my opinion, and the customer service is top-notch. That's kind of a big deal for me. Uh, customer service is really, really where it's at. If you've got something that doesn't work, uh, if you have a, uh, an issue with the mail, an issue with your product delivery when it arrives... A hundred different things. If you you need to have an artisan that has good customer service, in my opinion, or it doesn't really matter how good the product is. All right. All right. So we're all loaded up there. Way more soap than we need. I'll set that aside. There's the tub. I'm just gonna rinse it off a little bit. There you go. Barely touched it. 
smoothed it out a little bit, but that's about it. All right, a little bit more water on the face. Let's get into a lather. So, this soap, you can pick it up at ttffcraft.com. $15.95 for a five ounce tub. Add a little bit more water. There we go. I had no problem making a lather out of this at all. At all. Super, super slick. Let's go ahead and do our first uh, pass. My first pass is on any shave, no matter what it is. Whether I'm going face. head always with the grain always with the grain as far as the scent strength on this after it's been lathered, I found that it, I can smell it really, really nicely. It's got a nice, nice fern scent to it. It reminds me of being outside. Again, it is tallow based. The other thing too is it maintains its hydration throughout the shave. Um, this soap here is still pretty slick. I can tell just by looking at the outside of it and some of the soap that's gone down the sides. God, this is a, this is a really nice nice scent, and it's interesting because I know it's a fern scent, and fern has a lot of its own or has its own classification. I don't. However, I think of honestly, I think of earth when I think when I think of this scent. It just smells. It reminds me of being outside. All right, so that's the first pass. Plenty of residual slickness, tons of it actually, all day long. All right, that is the first pass. We're gonna go ahead and finish up the shave and we'll see you guys in the post shave. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Thank you very much for joining me for the post shave. I'm gonna throw a little witch hazel on there, a little bit of, pull that right on there, let that dry. And, Let's get right into it. As far as the performance is concerned, I didn't have any problems with the performance at all. It's always top notch, at least for me anyway. And I had a little bit of irritation down on the bottom of my neck, but that's because of this baby right here. That little square point 
That thing gets me every time, but I still continue to use it because I like to. I like the way it shaves. It gives me a nice close shave. I mean, it's really close, borderline too close, but I just like the way it feels. So anyway, uh, as far as the scent strength is concerned, it remained pretty strong throughout the shave, throughout each pass. I get that nice fern scent with a little bit of trail end of tobacco on it. Um, but it mostly just reminds me of just being outside, walking through the woods, going on a hike. And I really, really kind of like that, at least for me. So we're going to finish it off a little bit of the uh, after the shave here. This is this kind of smells like wet earth. That's what this smells like. This smells like going outside after it's raining um, during the summer. Throw a little bit of that on there. And I thought it would go well with the whole fern thing. Yep, and it does. And it does. Yep. There we go. Nice after the shave. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the shave. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, please put it in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, if I wish to do so, make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaven. Folks, I am Chad. Thank you very much for joining me, and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video.